hello everyone it's me asmr if welcoming you to my new design tutorial in illustrator and today i'll show you this type of logo making tutorial this one is a popular logo and i'll show you how to make this logo so it's a, a request from my fan that's why i'm just making it up and i'll show you the process and how to make it out so if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first go to the file and take new i am using the illustrator 2018 and uh, all the same in 19 version or 17 version or creative cloud version so you can use or apply this technique in your own illustrator so i'm taking a canvas which is 2560 and 1440 and color mode cmyk and no bleed in these tutorials and hit the create button you'll get a new like a uh, artboard and after that i'll turn on the graph paper so or grid paper so control and the inverted comma you'll get the grid lines so after that i'll just go to the pen tool and place anchor over here and press the shift button and just select another anchor and just another portion and like that so i'll finish that up so like that and then we'll just turn off the fill color and keep only the stroke and i'll make the stroke thickness like yeah 50 or 100 is good yeah that's good and then go to the select this one and go to the direct selection tool and make it like round like that so after that i'll select this one and go to the object and expand it and fill any stroke that is ticked and hit ok so after that press ctrl c and ctrl f ctrl c for copy and f for forward paste and right press over there and transform and then reflect and after that i'll make it uh, like uh, horizontal like that and make it copy so that's fine and i'll just move it out and adjust with the like that yeah that's good and it's adjusted so if it's not adjusted just adjust it with the border so now it's adjusted properly otherwise you have to make it adjust properly with the border the previous rectangle so press ctrl y yeah and you can just adjust it properly that's fine you can use it out so that press y again and select all two things and go to the like uh, shape builders tool and make it like that yeah that's fine and then rest of the thing you can delete and delete so this thing you have to delete so ungroup this one and delete this one delete these things so you are getting like that after that i'll rotate it like 45 degrees so use it uh, the shift button when you are rotating out and before that just keep one thing which is like yeah. another rectangle like that so go to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle according to like this so according to this so check it out so how to check it out press ctrl y and the last rectangle you can match with that so it will work i will work with that in later so i'm keeping it in the side so press ctrl y you will get back to the main window and just rotate this one by pressing shift and just rotate this one it will be 45 degree angle and then i'll just place it in this portion and then i'll delete all the unnecessary things and i'll rotate this one like that so that's fine yeah i'll place it in a edge of the logo that's fine doing like that yeah that's good and then copy this one and this one yeah we'll work with that so in this portion and in this portion so that's fine and then i'll cut it out so take another line over here and make it 45 degree yeah that's fine and another that is 45 degree from here so that's good so i'll just 
divide this one go to the pathfinder tool if you want to get the pathfinder tool over there go to the window and here is the pathfinder options and from here i'll divide this one right press and un ungroup this one and just like that so here i'll just press alter button and drag it and like i'll cut it like this yeah that's fine again i'll divide this one right press and ungroup so i'll delete this portion and i'll make this one another red color so i'll divide this one like this so that's good and select these two things so only this these two things and divide this and ungroup and yeah delete this one and i'll make it red color like this and i'll make it another like a blue color so that's fine and if you need you can make it bigger so you can make it like that so i'll make this one and then i'll cut it out so how to do that take a line and make it 45 degree like that and like this so i'll just add just like that and this line i'll make it like that so i'll select these all the things and if you need you can make it more bigger so like this so this one as well so our two lines here so i'll keep the line like this yeah in this portion one line and another line i'll take it in a other side so moving it okay i'll select all the things and make it divide and right press and ungroup so i'll delete this one this one this one this portion and this portion as well so i'll just make it like that i'll delete here some unnecessary portion and i'll make it like merge and then i'll select these two things and direct selection tool and select this portion and you can make it bigger and then i'll move it out so i'll move it like that that's fine pick the color press i from here and make the color like that so i'll select all the things and make it group so our logo is ready and i'll keep it in the middle so how to do that go to the alignment tool and make the alignment to the artboard and upper to down and top to bottom and left to right yeah and i'll turn off the grid and go to the rectangle tool and take a rectangle which is 2560 and another one is 1440 and the color will be black and send back to the other layer that is the back layer and then i'll just give here so this one this black portion will be white so take the white color and this one as well yeah you are getting nice logo which i published in my community hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend if you want to get another tutorials of the logo making or design or photo manipulation and photoshop please check out my video description and until the next video i am signing out today bye bye